So guys, welcome back to the brand new weekly episode. And this week we are going to play Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I say we are going to try. Watch will be vigilant here.
something I didn't expect. So, I'm pushing phase on. So, I'm going to retry. People are going, you must block. You don't block. You must block. You block, you don't block. You need to block, you block. You don't block. your gear but yeah I'm not alone here maybe I must uh, reload all of this go back to the main map Ready, my king. Tell me, Zanakis. Have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. Hmm. I would 
the flight to a position with my son. has led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it has led to where you stand right now. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood. What say you, fathers? For our sons! For our daughters! For Sparta! Kings! 
all will bow before him after I crush you! Come, fool! Enough talk! Time to die! Where is my screen, guys? We are betrayed, my king. Finally. Wow, this is big, Layla. Do you really think it's the spear? Just the one. The book was almost right on top of it. I've never been so lucky in my life. Okay, let's start her up. Are you sure we can trust this thing? I mean, the book could be... Just that, Victoria. You're the boss, boss. I'll prep it for you. Okay, so worth noting, I've made some changes since we're last in here. <laughs> There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization if you're up for it. Let's take this one step at a time. Understood. If you're looking for something a little more intense, I can always adjust the settings for you later. This bit will let me know how much information will be fed to you during your time in the Animus. about me. I've got this. A little autonomy never killed anyone. At least, I don't think so. Just let me know if you need assistance and I can all of that to help her back in. Listen, Layla, before you go off, if this book is right, this fear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Herodotus was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but I need you to trust me. You could be right. This fear, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not going to let Abstergo find out first. You're right. We haven't got much to lose anyway. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're going to have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours. He will lead us 
down the right path, I'm sure. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come. The start of Peloponnesian War. Good luck in there. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending on you. Abstergo isn't going to win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it. Oh, and Victoria, read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. Aye, aye, Captain. Down here. Cyclops got a message for you. <clears throat> Tell your boss he can stick it. Thanks for last week. <clears throat> Malaka. The Cyclops said you like to act tough, so act tough. Get a little closer, and I will. You should know by now. The Cyclops always collects his debt. You have a lesson to learn. If the Cyclops wants to teach me, tell him to come here himself. Never mess with the Cyclops! It happens every week. <sighs> I can't keep doing this. <whistles> nah. Thanks for the warning. <sighs> what happened to you? Nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. 
Help yourself. You hungry to wake up? <laughs> Do you think Zeus will bless me with an eagle like he blessed you, Alexios? Maybe you could ask him for me. I'll try to put in a good word for you. Finally. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. Uh, what does that weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. Wait, what? A vineyard? Marlaka! It's on the road to San. I don't know what it he means, He says wine will make him rich. I find it really funny. Where can I find Marcus's new beautiful estate? You know the statue of Zeus on Mount Ainos? It's south of that. Since when has he had the vineyard? Yesterday, I think. So, Marcos, who owes me like me, is buying vineyards. With what money? I don't know. Well, I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. <laughs> I'll go there, Marcos. You're coming. My head. You made a mistake coming here. I'll have to go up top to get dressed. Going to get caught without armor twice.
Guess this is the vineyard. Straight ahead. There you are. Let's see what you've gotten yourself into this time, Marcos. my farm. I can plant what I want. The grapes will die here. All of them. You have to forget what you know about the past, my friend. Together we will revolutionize winemaking. Believe me, you will look back on this day and... Alexia, thank the gods. Phoebe found you in time. I can still hear you. I was worried sick. The Cyclops and his scum to find you. you. I think they mean you hard. I wish you would have told me that before they hit me. But that's besides the point. You bought a vineyard, Marcos? A vineyard? Why not? I like wine, you like wine, everybody likes wine. Everybody buys wine. Why not from me? Because you're an idiot. Because you don't know how to grow grapes or make wine. I'm a fast learner. You grow grapes on the vine, then you get some wine. Oh, it's that simple, is it? You know me better than to think I don't have a plan. Marcos always has a plan. All right. Then do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Uh, of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. Then get it. Instantly, my friend, instantly. But uh, maybe you should do that. There is a merchant in Sammy. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. You want me to collect my own debt? It's just waiting for you and Sammy, my friend. Who's the merchant? Zuris. You know Zuris. He's very nice. Zuris! How stupid can you get? Stop giving him money. He always pays me back. After I threaten him? Exactly. Everybody benefits. Zuris gets his money, I get my interest, and you have work. Kefalonia is wonderful, is it not? Nope. It better have my money, Marcos. I hate to have to sell our vineyard. Of course he will. Oh, after there's another matter I want to discuss with you. After. Fine. But I'm taking a horse. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. But think of it as interest, Marcos. Everybody benefits. Of course, my friend. You shall have your pick. Tell me about this one. The Skiros. You have an eye for sturdy stock, my friend. That horse can cling to mountain passes like a goat. The one in the middle. Tell me about it. Ah, you have picked a beauty, my friend. That horse is from the Salonia. Bread for its courage. I like the look of the one on the right. Ah, the Macedonian. These are bred for battle. A true warrior's horse. Uh, I've made my choice. Which one will it be? Thessalonia. I'll take the one in the middle. Ah, uh, 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 fine choice. But this particular breed has a few quirks that you might not be aware of. I wouldn't want you to take an unworthy horse. 
This is the one I want. Are you sure? Because... I'm sure, Marcos. Everybody benefits, especially you. You've chosen the great Phobos. He's never let me down. Phobos. Remember, meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, Esterpi. There's plenty of wine left to buy. Don't fret. Not tell, you fool. Sibyl's been taken. By who? Thugs of the Cyclops. Who else? Snatched her right off the main road. Tell me where they went. In the direction of Itimena Beach. The beach? Can she swim? I'll get her. Yes, go. But don't forget about Pier Duris, Alexios. There they are. I'll sneak up on the Malakas. What we going now? Let me go! Shut it! Or I'll tighten those ropes! She'll make good ransom Drachmi for the Cyclops. No one's gonna buy me from you. They're all poor. Keep quiet, Phoebe. All grass will keep me hidden. Ooh. Let the rest of those malakas get away. Marcos is going to be next. Yeah, I do. I do. Okay, and he crashed. No! So, guys, this will be it for this week's episode. I hope you liked it, and I will all talk to you next week with a new episode. Probably it will be the God of War episode. So, yeah, guys, until the end of the year. It will be the God of War episode. Uh, the volume on that episode is particularly low, so sorry for for that. Because I didn't got to check it out with my headset microphone. So guys, see you all next week or upcoming Thursday with the God of War episode. See you all then. Bye!